What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to our LEGO review. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, just got this today, it's the day before Triple Force Friday, October 3rd, 2019. Um, went into my local Kmart just after work and uh, it appeared that they'd put all the new LEGO sets out um, a day early or yesterday, I'm not sure when they put them out. Um, but it seemed as though they'd hurriedly, they'd hurriedly put them away um, and they left, left this one, so... Uh, I was able to get it through the checkouts, no problems there. Um, they weren't locked out or anything like they have been at a lot of places. Um, so I decided to grab it. I do like my Y-Wings. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to picking up most of the sets from Rise of Skywalker at this stage. So we have here the Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter. Set 75249. Um, I know in the US you'll have the piece count there as well. Uh, we don't have the piece count on the boxes here in Australia. A shot of the minifigures that are included. We'll get a look at them in a moment. And just at the back of the box there, a few of the little features. You got flick missiles, droppable bombs, a swivel cannon on top, landing gear at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I just finished building this. And uh, it's it's a pretty sweet uh, set. I really really like it. Um, it was a fun build. It was good to put together. Instruction booklet here. Really like the uh, Lego version of the uh, Rise of Skywalker Kylo Ren at the top. Using in their using in their Lego campaign. I think it's a good way to do it. So yeah, there's the instruction book. I'll put that aside. Now let's take a look at these mini figures. We'll start first with this unnamed astromech droid. It almost reminds me of uh, R2 Deco, which is like an Art Deco style uh, astromech droid that some of the R2 builders have, have built. I, uh, I've seen it in person at Star Wars Celebration, um, just because just of the colour, um, but it would be cool to see that <laughs> jump into live action, an Art Deco style. I'm really into that sort of look. Um, so this is a cool astromech droid. Um, I really like the green. I really like that sort of teal green colour. Blue green, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's a really nice, really nice looking droid. Now we'll get a look at the bad guy. You always got to have a bad guy in these sets. Um, and it's the Elite First Order Snowtrooper. And we are getting this figure in the Black Series as well. Uh, in the next wave, I think. It may even be an exclusive somewhere in the US. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. But uh, essentially, it's just a snowtrooper with a cape. It still looks cool. I do like the look of the uh, first order snowtroopers. It's a nice one. And we'll get a look at Poe Dameron. And Poe looks great. This is a, it's a really good outfit for Poe. I'm really excited to see See some action figures come out of this version of Poe Dameron. Um, hopefully they finally get one right. But uh, Lego's always done well with the Poe minifigs. Uh, we've had a pretty good assortment of different Poe's. Pose, pose. Um, some of his flight suits uh, on Jakku. Um, just his outfit from Last Jedi and then the set with the uh, headphones on um, as he's flying the skim speeder. Uh, but this one looks cool. I like the look of this outfit. Um, Got a little bit of a little bit of Indiana Jones about him. A little bit more of an adventurer. He's on missions. Looks good. He's got the uh, sort of more stern, aggressive face on the back. But uh, I like the nice smiling Poe. Who doesn't? Put him aside. Now let's get a look at Dio. Now this is a new build for Lego, a new mold. Um, He's just one little piece, um, and he's pretty cute, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's not a lot to him, but it works. Um, he should fit well, should fit well alongside BB-8 and R2 and 3PO and all those other droids. It's a, it's a nice little piece. Some nice printing. Excuse me. Some nice printing. Nice and clean. Nice, easy little minifig, if you'd call it that. And now lastly, Zori Bliss, uh, the new character played by Kerry Russell. Now this is a cool looking, cool looking minifig. Uh, very much looking forward to 
the three and three quarter inch action figure. It's got a really cool looking outfit. Um, and having these blasters again, I haven't had these <laughs> in a long time. Um, I may have had them at some point, but these are the old pirate muskets from the Pirates Lego in the 80s and 90s. Um, obviously a different color plastic, but they look awesome. Now, the helmet's a really cool design, I, I dig that. She just has the black head underneath, they're not ready to reveal what she looks like underneath. Pretty sweet looking minifig. That's pretty on the back too. Looking forward to seeing Zori Bliss. So let's get a look at the, uh, the Y-Wing itself. Um, now this is a really nice Y-Wing. Uh, I like it, it's, it's very different. Um, it still looks like a Y-Wing, <laughs> um, obviously. Uh, it's it's that signature Y shape there. Um, it very much looks like Y wings, uh, di different build though. Um, looking forward to hearing more about where the resistance has picked these Y wings up. Um, how old are they? You know, the Y wings we saw in the original trilogy, we le learned later that they were uh, ex Clone Wars Y wings, so we're assuming these are from a another era as well. But it looks cool. I like the uh, the cockpit shape, but it's really nicely built. It's nice. Nice techniques there to build that. Apologise for the uh, shakiness a bit. I'm just using my phone at the moment, so. One thing I always like about the Y-Wings is the sort of greeblies around the open engines on the back here. Some nice little details, I like that a lot. As well as these. When you have to do more than like two or three of something, it starts to get a little bit laborious. So these like struts going along the back here, I had to do eight of them. Um, and once you do one, you kind of just do them all bit by bit at the same time. So you end up with eight complete ones rather than going one to one. Um, that's my method anyway. <laughs> but it's a nice looking ship. And uh, I suppose Zori Bliss is meant to be piloting this, so we won't know that until we see the film. Or maybe some shorts with her in it, some uh, trailers or something, we're not sure yet. Um, but there is a spot for this astromech droid. It slots in there behind the cannon. It's a nice looking cockpit Can't cover. I'm glad they've gone back to this sort of moving cockpit. There was a, there's a couple of sets in recent years that they've just stuck it on, you have to pull it off. Um, I'm glad they've gone back to this sort of articulated moving cockpit cover. And, uh, if I can get out of fit. It's a bit hard with one hand. Yeah, be able to sit her down in there. <laughs> there's plenty of room. I have to take her guns out and sit her, sit her down in there afterwards, but that's a nice looking Y-Wing. I, I really like the Y-Wings. I've got the, the only other Y-Wing I've got is the Rogue One uh, that came out a couple of years back. Um, so I'll definitely have to dig that one out at some stage. It is in storage at the minute, so I will uh, have to dig that one out and uh, do a bit of a side-by-side -side for Instagram. So a very cool set. I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. It was a it was a good fun build. I'm looking forward to some of the new Rise of Skywalker Lego sets that are coming out, and the Mandalorian. Um, some cool cool looking stuff. Hope you enjoyed the look at this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you want to come and follow me on Instagram, I'm at The Forces with Jesse and at Star Wars Go Figure. Uh, that's my podcast. Um, come and check it out. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. May the Force be with you, always.